hello there it's Sarah from paper lovely thanks for joining me today I am back with part two of my 10 cards one kit using the close to my heart spruced up collection I am using a bunch of the patterned papers and stickers as well as the card making stamp set so if you missed the first five cards you can check those out in the video that I posted yesterday for now I'm gonna jump right into card number six I have trimmed some sangria cardstock to four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using the front or darker side of that. The purple pattern paper is trimmed to two and a quarter by four and a quarter. The bird pattern is three and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. The espresso cardstock is one quarter of an inch by three and a quarter, and I'm using the back side of that, so the lighter side. And then the wood grain card or paper is trimmed to four by three and a quarter. So I've layered all of these on top of the sangria base there. And I'm gonna pull in some of the branches as well as one of the birds that I have stamped and trimmed out. I showed you how I did that in yesterday's video. I'm gonna stamp out my sentiment here using espresso ink. This reads best wishes. And then I've also pulled in one of the arrows from the woodcut pack, and I'm gonna glue that right underneath that sentiment there. Here I've grabbed one of my branches. I'm gonna glue that in place with some art glitter glue. Then I've got one of the birds that's stamped out with the sangria ink. I'm gonna pop that up using some foam dots. I felt like I just needed a little something more there. So I, I pulled in a couple different birds and tried that out. And then finally you'll see I end up finishing this with another one of the branches. I felt like that was what it was missing. So I'm gonna add some more art glitter glue, place that down, and then I will trim off that excess there. That will complete card number six. For card number seven, I'm gonna pull in one of the stickers here and I'm placing that on some mink cardstock. That is trimmed to two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I'm using the front or darker side of that. I also have some of the white sort of woodland background paper that's trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm gonna pull in some of the purple pattern paper that is one quarter of an inch by four and a quarter. And then I have one of the rip strips from the top of the pattern papers, this green that is trimmed to four and a quarter. And of course it is just about a half an inch wide. So I have layered my sticker there, trimmed off the excess, layered my uh, stripes across the bottom, trimmed off the, that excess there. And I'm gonna pull in another sticker. This reads, just chillin'. I'll pop that up here with some of my foam dots and press that into place. I've also grabbed a deer from the woodcut pack. I'm gonna add him down with some art glitter glue. And then I will go ahead, add some ATG to the top of my card base and press my panel into place. Lastly, I wanted to add a few snowflakes. These are stamped out using some of the mink ink. And I did actually use the die cut to trim these out just because of the shape around those stars that worked out better than using my scanning cut. I've glued those into place and I'm finally gonna accent them with some of the silver sequins. And that will complete card number seven. Hey guys, I am popping in here quick with a hidden giveaway. I really appreciate those of you who watch my videos through all of the way. Um, so I like to do these hidden giveaways for you when I can. I have some things left over from this collection and since I have done a lot of scrapbooking pages and 10 cards, I'm going to gift you what I have left. Um, so there are some stickers. I had two pages of the stickers, so there will be a few duplicates here. Um, so there's some some deers left, some of the bottom stripes, some stars, and some more, several of the deers, I didn't use a whole lot of those, some of the 
sentiments that were along the bottom here, and then another one of these are the days in it, and another star here. I may trim that down slightly smaller again. Um, so I've also got some leftover pieces of cardstock. I use all of these tiny things for um, sentiments and stuff, so I'm gonna include everything I have left over. Why not? If you can get some use out of it, then I'm happy to share it with you. So there's sort of a rainbow here and some different sizes of the colors of cardstock that I've used. This cardstock is double-sided. There's a lighter and a darker side to all of it, so you're gonna kinda get in two colors um, for the price of one there. And then I do have, again, some scraps. I'm including everything because you never know what you can use um, of what I have left over of the pattern paper. Oh, there's another couple larger pieces of all of those colored cardstocks as well. And then the largest piece that I had left of this wood grain and those hills and the trees and things of the scrap pattern paper. But there is a little bit, remember they're double-sided, so there is a little bit left of each of the patterns that you can play with here. So um, I'm going to just leave this open for I think 24 hours. Um, I'm not sure when I'm posting this video yet, but I will um, place down below in the description box, you know, when the deadline is to enter. So just leave me a comment. Uh, let me know your favorite card or favorite scrapbook layout um, and that will be your entry in and then I will as usual do a random draw um, and one of you will get this in the mail. So I do have a few of the wooden shapes left over as well. I'm not going to pull all of these out but there's some of the wooden shapes, a couple birds that I had stamped out if you want to fussy cut those um, and then some of the stamped uh, pieces that I had used my scan and cut to trim out as well as I think I have all of the rest of the I think I have all of the rest of those in there. I didn't really save uh, too much here. Some of those inked birds that I had done as well should be in there and then a few pieces of the um, chipboard that I had. So just getting rid of my stash here, as I mentioned um, in a previous video, I'm trying to sort of hoard less this year. Um, and, you know, if I, if I feel like I'm done with the collection or ready to move on to something new, then I want to share this with you guys and give you a chance to use it. So uh, as I said, leave me a comment below and that will get you entered into the drawing. And then I will be back in a day or so with the winner. Here for card number eight, I've got the bird pattern paper trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half, a strip of the purple that is three quarters of an inch by five and a half, and then I will also pull in some striped pattern paper that is one inch by three and five eighths. So I have layered down my stripe on top of my bird pattern paper, and I pulled in some of the uh, chipboard die cuts. I've placed the first one down using some art glitter glue. This larger top one I've added some foam dots to. I'm gonna press that into place. And then I'm gonna grab this uh, striped pattern paper, add a little angle to that there. I'm gonna place that across the bottom. But first I'm gonna add this warm and cozy sentiment sticker. And then because I have that top leaf uh, popped up, I will go ahead and add some foam dots to the back of this, just on either side of that stem. That way I can keep that nice and even. And I'll press that into place. Finally, I felt like that needed just a little more of a pop of color, so I pulled in one of the leaves from the stickers and placed that down as well. I'll add some ATG to the top of my card base and press my panel into place, and that will complete card number eight. For card number nine, I've trimmed down this striped pattern paper to three and three quarters by five and a half. I'm also pulling in a piece of some purple ribbon. This is from my stash. It is some seam binding, and I think that it's left over from a very old paper pumpkin kit. I'm not positive, um, but the purple matched that sangria really well, so I thought this would be pretty to add. 
I've tied that into a bow and then trimmed it because I want to have this going across uh, this striped pattern paper but I didn't want to waste because I don't have a lot of it left so I'm just going to cut that in half there and that way I know the lengths that I need and then I'm just going to wrap this around the back of that striped pattern paper using a little bit of some half inch score tape. That way I know that'll hold down nice and tight for me. So once I've got those two pieces added, I will go ahead and tie this into a little knot here, trim off the edges. And then I'm going to add a few glue dots underneath the knot of that bow. I've pulled in a few of the leaf stickers from the sticker set and I've also grabbed that pine cone sticker and one of my stamped out pine cones. I'm gonna place all of those down and then I'll add some foam dots to pop up that smaller pine cone. I originally thought I would stamp a sentiment here and I pulled in my toffee ink that's gonna match that pine cone but when it stamped, I really didn't like it. it. It kind of smushed a little bit. So then I had to sort of rethink what I wanted to do. And I just ended up sliding that striped pattern paper down. I thought about trying to stamp it up at the top again, but if it didn't come out right, I wasn't gonna have really another move there. So I decided to just leave that as it was. And then I will pull in a sentiment sticker that reads in the moment. I'm gonna pop that up with some foam dots and I'll place that just slightly overlapping that purple ribbon. I did there go ahead and add some ATG and add my panel down on top of my card base and that will complete card number nine. For card number 10, I have got some bird pattern paper that's trimmed to four by five and a quarter. I've also got one of the uh, striped stickers that measures four inches. And then I've got some New England Ivy cardstock. I'm using the back or lighter side of that. And that's trimmed to three quarters by three and a half inches. So I'm gonna stamp out the thank you sentiment using my espresso ink. I have gone ahead there and added my pattern paper and sticker directly onto the top of my card base. Here I thought I might add some of these uh, purple arrow stickers off to the side of my sentiment. You will see I will remove those a little bit later. It just didn't look quite right to me. I'm adding some half inch foam tape to the back of my sentiment and I'll go ahead and pop that up. There I'm taking away those stickers. And I'll go ahead and pop that up here. And then I'm also popping up one of my sangria stamped birds. And then I will finish up here by adding in some of my leaves and branches and a few of the pine cones as well. Just adding those down with some art glitter glue. Finally, I have pressed that bird into place. And lastly, I'm going to add in some of these pine cones. I felt like this just needed a little bit something more. And that will complete card number 10. Here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.